Yo, what's up guys? Sachi here and today I'm going to be showing you the best strategy that I found for going flawless on Convergence for this week. So we actually got a really OP spot right in this spawn in the middle of Super Energy. So basically you want to do, you can do it on all three characters while I would recommend Warlock might be the easiest. You want to just jump over here and basically when you're right here, you don't got to swing your sword but I'm going to swing it just in case. Oh, never mind. I just fell right into it. So basically when you're right here, you, what you want to do, just make your way to the edge as far as possible. And there's a little barricade that's not going to let you go even further. And once you're in this spot, you're pretty much appearing off their radar once you crouch in. The only way that they will actually recognize you if you're over here, if they jump into your spawn like so. But if they come anywhere towards the spawn, they will not recognize you because you're way back in the map. And basically you can just stay here as long as you need to just to build up some super energy. So this is a really good spot if you need to get super energy. Another amazing spot that you can also go to if you need super energy is also right around the corner. This one's a little bit easier to get to if you don't feel um, comfortable at making that jump. You just want to fall right here in this corner and basically when you're right here in this corner you can basically sit here as well and they can kind of they will kind of notice you right here but you do got this wall blocking you off and you got this one right here so if they're not paying attention this is like a really good getaway spot for a super if you try to jump off if you jump off the map and just bait them because they most likely don't know about the spot so this is another um good bait spot slash uh super build spot and we also got another amazing spot right here in this tree you can do it on all three characters as well what you want to basically do is just jump on something that can give you a little boost and once you're on that you can just fly up in this tree and I just choked it let's run that back one more time jump up and fly into this tree there we go you can basically just uh, get in this tree and once you're up here you can actually hold down all these angles and you can still build up super engine because they most likely won't realize you and if you do get the race shaders on you can blend in with the, sh uh, the tree as you see I got the red I got the black one so I blend in pretty well with this tree so this is another amazing spot we're trying to build up super engine or just try to uh, hold and spawn but actually get into the strategies now so the best strategy for going inside if you want to try to control inside there's a sniper angle right here if you don't feel comfortable getting to the other one. So there's a sniper angle right here that should go to if you, you can get mad picks in here where they challenge it. But if you feel like you can get to this angle faster, only thing you got to do, you need a sword to get in this one. You can get to this one. You're able to see way more um, see way more ground and you can also see over here. So if you feel more comfortable uh, getting to this one, definitely highly recommend in this one. But if you don't think you're fast enough, just take that angle right there and you can still get the same job done. You can see everything on this left side. But that's basically there. Then once you um, get a pick, there's also another angle if you want to. You can jump on top of here like so. You do need a sword though, so you just want to swipe and... That's a choke. You just want to... Okay. You can just swipe up here like so. And wherever you got the pick at, you can also hold it down. You can shoot through that because you're pretty sure that you can see their head. Or unless they, uh, if they cross, you won't be to see their head. But if you, if they do peek it by standing up, you can snag their heads um, in this spot. And you can keep that rest down pretty well. And then by then, heavy ammo will be spawned. Heavy ammo usually spawns right over here. So you can just hold down all these angles. There's also an angle that you can hold right here if it comes down to it basically just want to jump up right here in this block and once you're up here you can also do the same thing you can hold down all of this in mid if they do try to challenge you over here and you can also hold down if they try to peek you in waterfalls so you got all this ground just to hold down and just protect and cap point does spawn right here so i would highly recommend um trying some of these spots and trying just to control mid and wait for cap point to spawn just try to build up super energy as possible but now let's show you the strat for the inside of the map if you're trying to play around waterfalls so basically for waterfalls you can basically play the same way but i'm just going to show you this one just in case it comes down to it because it's a really good spot 
So what you want to do, you're going to need the sword for it as well. But once you're up here, you can actually shoot through all of this. And it's a pretty nasty head glitch, actually. So you can shoot through all of this. You can also see over there. But you can get a better look with a sniper. So I'm just going to show you. If you want to use it, go for it. But I think this is a pretty solid spot. But what you want to do for waterfalls, you want to try to... If you do peek this, it's kind of risky. So just take a quick peek if you want to. Or if you want to take a little safer route, you can just consume your grenade like so and fly up and you can just shoot them through the little hole. If you want to be a little safer, if you do got your grenade, so try to do that. But if you don't got a grenade, just try to be a little careful because they're either going to peek around that wall or that wall. But if you know they're going to always, but they always keep on peeking around that wall, just I highly recommend just using a grenade and just shoot them through that little hole so it can be a little safer so you can try to avoid getting the pick. But if you do get the pick, you want to just push up like so. They usually maybe push up right there, so you want to try to just bait up the shotty shot, and you can hold down the angle right here where you got the pick at, and you should be chilling. And just basically do the same thing. Just uh, play super energy, just wait for the spawn, wait for cap point, just play around picks pretty much uh, for this site. But that's basically the um, strategy that I found for that site. Now we're going to rotate to the other side. For this side of the map, there's not a lot of spots that you can actually go to to build a super energy. So basically what you want to do, you can either play waterfalls or you can play outside. If you do play outside, there's two locations that you can send your sniper to. There's one location right on top of here and you're able to get a pick as so if they do pick there. But if you do get another sniper par um, partner on your team, you can just send them in this one as well. So you guys don't got to like both try to rush to the same location. So you can just sit up here and this one's a little bit more exposed. So whoever does sniper, try to send uh, the better sniper right here. Because you're, like I said, you're a little bit more exposed. But these are the two sniper spots. If you do get the pick, like so, basically you want to do push up again, uh, play all your angles as possible, just play around the picks and everything. And if you know they got a um, tendency of uh, pushing the um, bridge, what you basically want to do, you can send a shoddy right up here, like so. Just jump in here. Once you're in here, you can actually. Um, just bait out everything you can also crouch underneath for this metal thing and pretty much these uh whatever these things are like lasers they're actually deflecting you so it's kind of difficult to see um to see you inside the spot and basically then you can just bait them out because they usually just try to push and slide down the stairs and but you won't be right there so you can just have your shoddy out and just wait for them to come in then once they come in you can get easy claps and easy picks but you basically just want to play the same way um Player on the pick, uh, use the glitch spot up here. Use the glitch spot up there. You can um use that one and just pretty much just keep playing playing uh picks and playing around the cap point. But for the inside strategy, um basically what you want to do again is you want to try to send your sniper. It's a little bit uh, risky peeking these angles, like I said. So there's also another angle that you can hold right here. Like I said, just come send your grenade and just go for a quick little snipe if you got to. And try to get the guy picked off. But if you're not a warlock, just be a little um, be a little careful when you actually peek the angles. But you want to do the same thing. Send your one shotty guy up here. Get the one pick if they push up to you. If you do if you do manage to get the pick with a sniper, this act this actually an amazing head glitch that can um hold down that angle pretty much. You can just jump up here like so, and once you're up here, you literally can just use this whole entire thing as a head glitch, and it's pretty easy to hold down the rest and everything. Just wait for cap point, just build up super energy. So, um, these are pretty much the best strategies that I found for going floss for and convergence for this week. If you are enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like, uh, sub to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.